What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hey, I'm Lo and my husband and I are working on paying off six-figure student loan debt. And I talk here on my channel about our debt payoff journey, personal finance tips, budgeting, all that kind of stuff. So if you like videos like that, then make sure you hit that red subscribe button to see more personal finance content from me. In today's video, we're talking about cash envelopes. Cash envelopes are very popular, I feel like, in certain personal finance circles. I know that there's a huge cash envelope stuffing like genre here on YouTube and I'm actually subscribed to some of those channels because I find it like very enjoyable to watch people put cash into their envelopes and it was actually a system we used for a while for groceries and personal spending. We would take out cash every week and we had envelopes for just a few categories and we would use that cash throughout the week to stay on budget. So I totally get why people use cash envelopes. It's a very visual system. You go to the store and you've got a certain amount of cash in that envelope and that's all you have to spend and it may seem simple and in a way it is because you are just dealing with cash but it's also kind of more complicated in a way so in today's video I'm basically gonna go through all the reasons why we used to use cash envelopes and we don't anymore the first one is probably the biggest one and that is I always used to forget my envelopes like I would have cash envelopes for different categories like gas and groceries and personal spending and I didn't really like carrying around all that cash on me all the time so I would leave all the envelopes at home and then when I needed to go spend I would grab the envelope I needed and take it with me. So because I kept the envelopes at home sometimes I would go to the store realize I forgot the envelope and then usually would just put the charge on my card anyway and then you don't have to reconcile it later or sometimes I would just be on my way home from work and want to stop at the store and grab some groceries or something on the way home and I wouldn't have the envelope with me and that just made it really inconvenient so I found that happening a lot so while if I had always had the envelopes on me and always had them available for use maybe it would have been simpler but because practically for my life that just didn't work I had to do a lot of reconciling between charges that were supposed to come from a cash envelope and charges on my bank account so what I do to reconcile it is I would say okay I spent $100 at the grocery store that was supposed to come out of this cash envelope now I have $100 cash so what I would do is I would take that $100 and go to the bank and deposit it back in the bank or I would say okay well the, the week is almost over I'm gonna need to take Take out another hundred dollars cash for next week's groceries anyway let me just keep this hundred dollars out so it's like we skipped a week of using the cash envelope system and that also got confusing because I like routines for me consistency with personal finance is so important like consistency is the number one thing that's helped us pay off so much debt so any inconsistencies in our budgeting system really throws me off and like makes me feel like kind of like confused and off kilter and out of control like not out of control but like not in control of what's going on with our money so I really didn't like that I would have to do that go to the bank and like make deposits of cash that I had drawn that were supposed to be spent and it just got really overwhelming. Another thing that I found really impractical about the cash envelope system for us is a while back I realized when I do curbside pickup I end up spending less money and I make less impulse purchases and I mentioned this in my video about impulse spending um, that I made a few weeks ago so I'll link that one up here if you want to check that out so when you use curbside pickup that means basically you're making a purchase online where you have to pay with a card so having cash really didn't work when we wanted to place a curbside pickup order and again I'd have to like reconcile everything another reason why cash envelopes didn't really work for us is because cash envelopes can't go negative and what I mean by that is as much as we plan to be consistent with our spending week to week life happens and some weeks are more expensive than others so you may budget a certain amount for an expense for a week and you end up having something come up that costs more than the amount you've budgeted and you know sometimes you can wait sometimes you really can wait on those expenses but sometimes you can't and what we use now is sinking funds and it's through a spreadsheet and all of our money's in one bank account so if we you know have a certain amount allocated for the week for an expense and and we end up needing more money then all that money is sitting in one big pot in the checking account so we can kind of borrow from other funds temporarily to cover the overage whereas if you're in a store and like you need to buy something and you've only got a certain amount of cash and that just doesn't cover it then you're putting the rest on a card or you're just skipping the purchase and and I know that's kind of the point is like if you don't have enough cash in the envelope then don't make the purchase but sometimes that's just not really practical sometimes there's things that we need to buy that we need now we really can't wait a week for and you just don't have the cash in that envelope but you have it in another envelope that's stocked up like let's say you have a thousand dollars saved for Christmas but you're short by ten dollars 
on another category for something you really need, like it makes sense to borrow from the Christmas fund to get the purchase you need right now if it's like June. Another reason why I don't really love cash envelopes is there's certain discounts you can't get when you're using cash. And I know that discounts are meant to get you to spend more in a way, like it's a psychological game. Oh, I'm getting a deal on this, so let me buy this extra thing. But if you're staying within your budgeted amount and you're not getting out of control with your spending, then discounts can really make a difference in you know, how much you could make your money stretch. So for example, at Target, they have their red card and the red card, it's the debit card, is basically they hook up a card to your debit card and so when you swipe your red card it's just money coming right out of your checking account it's not a credit card but you get five percent back on every single purchase you make so right there your purchases at Target are the cost is cut by five percent so when I signed up for this I really felt like okay using this cash system really isn't working because I really want my five percent discount through my red card and I've got the cash for it it's just coming out of my checking account so why not get that extra five percent off another example is certain Certain cash back apps. So I made a video recently talking about a couple cash back apps where you get cash back for purchases just by either purchasing through the app or um, taking a picture of your receipt afterwards. And so one of them is Get Upside, and that's for gas. So basically, when you go to a gas station, you open the app, it shows you like how much you can get off of gas cash back. It's anywhere from 10 cents per gallon to 40 cents per gallon off. And then you just hit claim when you're in the gas station before you fill up, and you fill up and you take a picture of your receipt, and then you get cash back. However, with that app, they only give you the cash back if you use credit or debit. There's another cash back app for groceries called Fetch, and they don't require you to use credit or anything for you know cash back on your groceries and it's the same thing you take a picture of the receipt and you just get cash back that you can exchange for gift cards so not all of them are like that but there are certain ones and get upside is actually like one of my favorite ones because it saves me the most money when I fill up I save like five dollars or so on each fill up at least I will link um get upside the gas app and fetch which is a groceries app in the video description if you want to check either of those out so yeah I think everyone learns differently everyone its brain works differently and so to stay organized if cash is what works for you I think it's a really great system it just for us the, because of the way we manage our money and our lives it just had certain like shortcomings that didn't work for the long term so like I mentioned before we now use sinking funds and we use sinking funds for so many things I talk about the sinking funds that we use in my budget with me videos I'll link my most recent budget with me video right up here I just find sinking funds to be easier because we work through one checking account for everything and I just enter each time we make a purchase that is from a sinking fund category. I just enter it into our spreadsheet and the spreadsheet automatically calculates the balance and I'm not having to like physically count money. I'm not having to run back and forth to the bank and like do the math of how many like 20s and 10s and 5s I need and all that. To me, it's simpler. The way my brain works, I find doing sinking funds, which are basically like digital cash envelopes I just find that to be simpler. So that is it for today's video. Comment below and let me know, do you guys use cash envelopes? Do you guys use sinking funds? Do you guys use a different system? Do you have any system at all? Like I'm interested to know how you guys manage your variable expenses and what system works best for you. So comment below and let me know. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me, then hit that red subscribe button. I'd really love to have you as a subscriber and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye.